Everybody say integrity. Integrity in service. Integrity in your love for God. Integrity in keeping to the values that make for great people. There are many anointed preachers who want to be my friends. But I love them so much. I don't resent them. I love the body. But they may never be my close associates. Not because they are not. They are smart people. But I do not see that they have integrity. They can come to your church and tear down everything. They don't have integrity. They can come and find out there is a millionaire in your church and say, Oh, come. Meet me at Suzu place. No, 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 no. integrity do you have integrity the proof of integrity is your consistency in the face of opportunities consistency that if you bend it can be to your advantage yet you refuse who for the joy that was set before him he would have negotiated his way is God speaking to us can you call yourself a man or a woman of integrity don't feel bad some of these things i'm sharing the holy spirit is ministering to us and we're seeing areas of correction it is because great grace greater grace wants to come upon your life that god will make us men of integrity integrity is not perfection integrity is is the unwavering fortitude to remain consistent Regardless of the shame it brings, you are consistent. You do something wrong, you don't explain it. I, I did something wrong. Don't just manage it. No, sir. I did it. It was, it was out of pressure. It's true that I took the money. It was an allocation that was for a project. I was under pressure. If I will be penalized truly, I accept responsibility. And the man looks at you. Integrity is like a virtuous woman who can find can find do we have people that can remain consistent regardless of consequences Kai, we bend too much in this country god must grant us grace this is why corruption keeps eating you know let, let me tell you a, a, a very a very sincere and i'm saying this from my heart you know once you are anointed like this and god grants you any grace for the prophetic you have a lot of influential people and people in government you can ask anybody who knows me especially now the moment i'm in abuja like this you just say oh this one ah apostle are you around and then most of them one of the mistakes that a man don't collect money from someone who does not have integrity you would have sold yourself it's a revelation that you are part of the equation discipline yourself are we together you preserve your honor Money is not everything, my brother, my sister. Listen to what I'm telling you. It's true. No matter how much billion or how much million, give yourself a good name. A good name, a good reputation is better than money. Your reputation can be a padlock to your children or a key. There are names when you call today, people say, God forbid me. I thought, I wanted to help you. That name, is it, are you part of that family? Say, no, I'm not. It's just that my father has that. I'm not, I'm not. The people have to beg and explain because the people have corrupted, they've created padlocks, but there are other names. Even when they drive you, say, come. What did you say? You are who? Say, you. Your father had the opportunity to steal in government. But we are witnesses to his integrity. Come, you qualify for the estate. Integrity is currency. You can use it to buy things. If the only thing you use to buy things in life is money, you are poor. There are seven currencies we use for purchasing realities in this kingdom. Finances is the seventh. The anointing is currency. Integrity is currency. Honor is currency. Which one did you use to pay for what you want? It's only money we're looking for. Start using these currencies to pay for things. Relationship is currency. Use it. When you understand these systems, you will use money minimally. Because what money would buy, these superior currencies will buy them by far. Get this tape. Get it. 
You know someone celebrating birthday, package it, put cake on top and give the person. They say, what is this tip? Say, listen, no. Listen. We cry together here. You've seen God change my life. Listen. Listen. Let me give us one more and then we'll pray. If this is all I do this morning, I think we are blessed. How to activate favor number four. Understanding relationships. The fourth key to activating favor in your life is relationships. You move mountains. You cause walls to fall with your power. You perform miracles. There is nothing that's impossible. And we're standing here only because you move mountains. You move mountains. You cause walls to fall with your power. You perform miracles. There is nothing. connections advantageous connections everything in life reproduces on the basis of relationship including your results please listen to me relationships are advantageous connections you will never rise in this life without a relationship relationship is capital relationship is a stream of income relationship is currency i am here in this church today because of a relationship with a dear man of god and his wife and the relationship is much more than being preachers now relationship i was saying yesterday that pastor and his wife they've charmed me i've lost the ability to tell them no relationship listen to me one correct relationship in your life can bless you every influential man has emotions and when they are connected to you their benevolence and their resources and their integrity and their resource whatever it is flows freely to you there are many people that we know today that we would have had access to them on the strength of relationship but our inability to understand and keep relationships will keep making us join long queues long queues at life relationships i've preached messages on that you would want to get that and listen to my life today has changed because of relationships my relationship with the holy spirit is why i'm valuable to the world today <laughs> yes that's why i treasure him treasure him i will not give up the holy spirit for anything and anyone my relationship with the holy spirit are we together yes i've told you who likes you matters in this kingdom please don't say it doesn't matter who likes you matters there are people today i've had the privilege of giving recommendations on their behalf because the people that they seek on an official note on the strength of the anointing and ministry i have access to these people and i've had the privilege to call and say please not to take you for granted but can you help this person i vet that this person is deserving and i say i pause with you at your recommendation quickly how many contracts have refused to be signed because a relationship is not bribery bribery is a way of hurrying relationship without following due process relationship takes time it stinks your ego you must pay the price 
because of the value that it can bring to you is there anything in your life that can accelerate process for you you see every rule that we put around in society is just for coordination relationships can exempt you on legal basis on legal basis are we together the banks stop on Friday for general people there are people who bank anytime and it's not because they have so much money for some reason they have a relationship with the owner of the bank you see that Jesus spoke about the man and Sabbath that man was not made for the Sabbath the Sabbath was made for man that means it can be manipulated are we together now yes God has granted me valuable relationships in my life relationships that have brought financial partnership to my life to ministry God has blessed and honored several people I know today on grounds of relationship show me what relationship has paid for in your life let me see the receipt of what relationship has paid for your relationship with God and your relationship with men how many of our loved ones will tell you I know everybody I know governor Ambode we used to laugh before what did you do with that opportunity that now your contract proposal has been there on the ground for years may we understand relationships do you have a relationship with the police force do you have a, a relationship with lawyers if someone comes to collect your land is that the time you start saying ah, but please uh, no you should have strategic alliances this is the wisdom of the kingdom in this day and age where someone can come and seize the land of a church seize someone's property it's not there were times where paul had to use his relationships with the pharisees and he said no 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 look we are one one they say, ah you we remember and they fought for him there are times that it's not just ministerial prowess you need relationships i am a benefactor of relationships and you sow that seed of honor relationships you preserve relationships by honor are we together i shared with you yesterday my story that we flew with professor wale soinka on the way he sat on my seat and the air hostess was trying to get him up for me to sit down and i rebuked her i said don't do that so what if i'm a man of god this is a man this is a man of global authority you may think you will forget it until one day when favor brings us together are you seeing how this thing works oh young man i remember you where where do i know you sir he was at the, at the in the aircraft oh you were the one that gave me this come and he walks you through doors like the angel held peter and the doors were opening held his hands and the doors were opening on their own please take away hardship everyone who creates a door has the key and if he loves you he can open it praise the lord when you go back home today send text messages to certain individuals not when you you want something then you now say uncle just to greet you five minutes later the real text now comes uncle just to let you know that the rent is almost here again i hope you are not embarrassed of course he is you maintain relationships sir just to let you know that i appreciate you i took out time thinking of your impact in my life not many people have impacted my life just to let you know you are one of them that's not honor that's not honor sir don't do that so you meet the rest for help the day you need it is god speaking to us yes and you see when you honor the person most times you will not reply but it's noted the human spirit was never designed to resent honor that they did reply you does not mean they've not noted it just keep waiting one day they will call you and say um i've not done anything nice to you what do i do say sir as the spirit leads say no no the spirit what do you want say sir we've been looking at a house we just have 10 percent of the deposit how much is it 
50 million. Oh, is that why you are crying like that? See me on Monday. Someone's prayer point answered two relationships. The answer left heaven, but your carelessness towards relationships made it become delay. Relationships. When they say turn to your neighbor left and right in church, you don't even know who is your neighbor left. You don't know who is your neighbor right. You just turn and just because it looks like it. Whereas that person, where your CV is, that's the CEO seated there. He doesn't have to be wearing a, a, a designer watch or, or whatever. No. He can be as simple as possible but holds the key that can change your life. Say relationships. Relationships require tolerance. Relationships require endurance. Some of the people you need are difficult people. Some of them have temper. Some of them have anger. Overlook those things because of the value in them. Are we together? Everybody may not be like you. Some of them are sarcastic. Some of them make you feel bad when you are in their presence. Create a system of emotional immunity. But endure. The day you need them, you will see that the value was worth it. Relationships. When we are in equity state, to receive that impartation from that old Baba for long life, the man looked at us. They said we're pastors coming from a crusade. I thought, you know, you would think that you say, oh, great man, I've been hearing about him. Say, kneel down. All of you kneel down. <laughs> it's up to me to choose and say, Baba, I respect you, but it's like you've not heard about me. Go online. <laughs> Relationships. I'm the one in need. The man was not intimidated by whatever people said I was. I have long life. You need it. <laughs> yes sir yes sir yes sir you don't pocket your hand and say long life sir it doesn't work that way is God giving us wisdom this morning which relationship did you ignore or which are you ignoring right now that can destroy you don't just come and inconvenience people during the rainy days. Isn't it amazing how painful it is when someone has the solution to your problem, but your relationship makes it so difficult? It's not all about money. The investment of relationship. Every one of us here can maintain relationships. Send a text. He may be a billionaire, but your 100 Naira recharge card is not an insult to him. It's an investment. Daddy, sir, just to appreciate you. I hear your birthday is next week. When you see politicians come to a billionaire's baby's birthday, they are not fools. A baby, zero years, no, no, one years old now, is celebrating birthday. Someone flies from London, UK, US, and comes to dance before a baby. Is it, was it the baby that brought them there? Come on, we are smart. A baby makes a man to pay first class and come down and then they give the baby a Rolls Royce they are maintaining relationships because the next eight years of that government matters to their business so they come and greet you and then we Christians are there and all these things and then we pay for it in humbling ways you just come and I've come for this quarter of the contract they say, sorry things have changed a celebration was there and a discussion was made in that celebration and it so happened that your name was etched out. Say, no, no, I was, I was praying. I was on a retreat. Say, well, we're on a retreat. <laughs> the man talking to you is a spiritual man. No? Number five, favor provoking prayers. Prayer can bring favor. Yes, sir. Prayer. You can pray your way strategically. Pray your way into the hearts of men. You heard Nathaniel Bassi say yesterday that while they were praying and praising, it just came to someone's... Do you know there are many people who can give? It's just that God has not told them to give you anything. So don't be angry with them. They are obedient. God has not told them, will they just come and bless you? Ah, he has five estates. Can't he give me a house? Ask God to tell him. Because if God talks to him, he will obey. God can talk to men. God can say, sir, get up.
take this person as your son and help him. Abba, this thing is not so difficult. He's called the father of spirits. He can talk to men. Are we together? God can talk to a man and say, come and become a financial partner with this ministry, with this person. And he comes and says, sir, I, I came by the instruction of the Lord. God has helped me. I'm successful. And the Lord said, I should be allocating this. Favor provoking prayers. I prayed. I prayed. Prayer can bring favor. Ladies and gentlemen, you can pray. Father, look down on us. Hearken to us the pain of this family. Lord, take away this shame for the sake of your glory. Connect us with strategic people. And the spirit of wisdom begins to look for men. And all of a sudden, you get up and while you are sitting in a restaurant, someone just comes. And you greet him. Say, your face looks familiar. Say, no, I don't know you, sir. He says, really? Something is drawing me to you. You remember your prayer. Who are you, sir? That's not the most important thing. Take this card. Come to my office. Um, which of them, sir? Because I'm seeing three cards here with different addresses. Come to this one. And you enter an office that looks like a palace. And see that man that the restaurant was his own. He said, what are you doing? He said, nothing. He said, can I send you to manage my company in Israel? He said, sir, with all pleasure. He said, are you busy? He said, me? Busy? Busy, busy for what? I'm available. Hallelujah. Do you believe what I'm saying? The last key, the last key to provoking favor is the impartation of the anointing for favor. There is an anointing for favor. I call it the Esther anointing. <laughs> The Bible tells us in the book of Esther that there was a village girl called Hadassah. Take note, village girl. Are we together? They called on all the ladies in the land. Dress yourselves and prepare. The king is looking for a wife. You can imagine how many of them were meticulously trying to walk. And the wise woman went and met the one who kept the king's women. You know the king. What does he want? He said, come, I will give you a kind of oil keep rubbing it on your body for one year stand before the king that's it ah, i shouldn't learn how to walk just do what I, I am the keeper of the king's women the bible says no man knows what is in the heart of a man save the spirit of that man so the spirit searches out he knows and he tells you there is an anointing that can bring favor and esther kept rubbing that oil it was doing something to her countenance. All the women who were passing, the king was looking for. Because the king knows what the oil should do. And as soon as he saw Hadassah, he said, this is it. And it was because of her on the throne that the people of God were saved. There is an anointing that can come on a man. Yes, sir. <laughs> there is an anointing that can come on a church. There is an anointing that can come on individuals. It's true. There is an anointing. Do you believe this? We are going to pray. Our time is gone. But I bet you it is worth it. It truly is worth it. That you can get something today. I think it was in this church I demonstrated how the anointing works. Let me show you again. Can I use you my dear? Come. Can I use you to come? I want you to stand there. You are a destiny helper. You are supposed to bring favor. You are the one in need for favor, all right? All of you walk and pass yourselves, as I illustrate. This is our destiny helper passing her. There is nothing on her. Turn around. Come again. Look at this. Your destiny helper is in Lagos. He keeps passing you every day. Because the grace on you that should call them. The anointing, keep coming again. The anointing is a voice in the spirit. But you came to house of David, watch this, and something was upon you. Now watch this. Listen to what is about to happen to you. Come. Walk slowly now. When you were about to pass, but the anointing starts calling. The anointing has a voice. You call it coincidence. But it's intentional. It's a law. 
mantles are falling here today anointings are falling here today for the kings to be born for the kings to arise for revival to return for the bearers to arise Ali, 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 standing before you is what I just acted before you I was in HICC last week to the glory of the Lord after the service I just finished the last meeting I was on my way going and the protocol told me that a young man was standing before me with the key of a car I said what is this I have never bought a car with my money all the vehicles God has brought has been favor this car that they gave I've not even seen it I said please go and discuss with the church people there they are there I'm, I'm being hosted so I don't want to break any protocol and they called right now it's today that I'm going to look at this thing to see it does that person not have relatives in need your pastor and his wife will tell you testimonies upon testimonies pastor's brother said something yesterday while we were in the office i said pastor has a grace that makes men like him the name is favor and the brother said something yesterday he said it has always been like that that while they were growing up out of 100 percent of people that come 70 percent are looking for pastor shola grace that's what carried you from where you were and brought you to come and sit here Brothers and sisters, if you believe and can give me five minutes, your life will so change in a way that you will go back and say, God, what is this? Can you begin to blast in tongues and say, Lord, this is it. This is it. And then you give me joy You're my peace, my melody In the center of the storm You gave me a brand new song To sing to you That's why I will hallelujah hallelujah and Jesus grew in wisdom the race is not to the swift the battle is not to the strong some of us are seated here you came to house of David this morning with pains that only favor can take away with financial loads on your head that only favor can change hallelujah let me tell you something pastor do you know why i wore this suit you may have forgotten but you were the one who bought me this suit it was intentional i wore it because i wanted to speak on favor pastor by the spirit got me this beautiful suit that you all admire 
there are two ways to buy it use money or use favor is that true your dear pastor was the one who bought me this wonderful suit and I decided to come to Lagos with it I said oh I will wear it and preach it's a point of contact that that same grace that God has put upon my life and that same grace that God has put upon his life together with his wife that somebody will carry this grace Listen, I prophesy right now over your life listen to me if you have never believed a man of God in your life please believe I prophesy to you wherever you are whether you are inside or outside I'm praying for you the grace that can come upon a man and touch the hearts of men and manipulates the hearts of men to bless that person receive that grace right now receive that grace right now receive that grace right now I prophesy to your finances the grace kabados kala pras katabari keto shibriada susia sheketos koso branda shkala barakatush the grace that can cause a man to receive help from God I cry to the God of Jeshua and I decree and declare receive supplies in the name of Jesus Christ listen to me I pray for every financial pressure that is on anyone under the sound of my voice whether it is rent whether it is the resources for a project I decree I stand by this grace God has given me between now and the next one month let there be a strange miracle hallelujah God who can pick a man from the donkey and place him I want to call forth those who God has spoken to but have refused to respond to the voice of God over your life in the name of Jesus I prophesy across the borders of Lagos the north the south the east the west wherever your helpers are I command them to appear in your life now in this church called jobless you are looking for a job I don't care how long please listen in the name of Jesus I come for this conference with an anointing and I decree and declare by the favor of God between now and the end of March return with your employment letter I pray for any and everyone due for promotion I don't know why you have been hindered whether tribal issues whatever it is but in the name of Jesus I declare the God who forced Nebuchadnezzar to stand up and run and say oh Daniel has your God been able to come and lift you and deliver you I pray for you may that God touch the heart of your superiors and cause them to lift you hallelujah if you are in business lift your hands whether it's successful or not just lift your hands in the name of Jesus there is a grace for creativity for imagination for innovation and to call for men that will help you I stretch my hands towards you I speak to your business receive life in the name of Jesus I command your business to expand in the name of Jesus hallelujah whatever has brought your business to its knees in the name of Jesus 
I declare the same way Jesus Christ rose from the grave. I command your business to rise from obscurity. Hallelujah. I pray for students. In the name of Jesus, especially for those in final year, right now, right here, we graduate you in the name of Jesus. Listen, listen to me. I'm rounding up. Some of you have made mistakes. All kinds of things have happened and you need the mercy of God. Just like the hair of Samson grew back. I invoke the mercy of the God of David over your life and over your academics. Hallelujah. From today I declare that every time you pass your helper, may this grace that has come on you compel them to bless you. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Listen, and I pray for you. Whoever stands before your helper and speaks negative about your life, just when they want to bless you, a voice comes. No, in the name of Jesus, I cancel the counsel of Ahitophel. In the name of Jesus Christ.